find the area of the smaller region bounded by ellipse and line see first of all we take a diagram for ellipse you can see that denominator of x square is greater denominator of y square is smaller so x axis it will be axis of this ellipse so major axis along x axis so it will be lengthy along x axis so here this is ellipse which is lengthy along x axis this is y axis <coughs> x square upon 9 so this will be number 3 here number will be minus 3 y square upon 4 so here 2 minus 2 this is origin so it is ellipse now this is a line making intercepts here x intercept is 3 y intercept is 2 it is intercept form any line in this form x upon a plus y upon b equal to 1 a and b are intercepts so line is making x intercept 3 and y intercept 2 so it will be passing from these two points so here line will be passing like this so this is x upon 3 plus y upon 2 equal to 1 and this is x square by 9 plus y square by 4 equal to 1 now by ellipse and this line this region is bounded it is smaller we are asked a smaller region bounded by ellipse and line so we want the area of this region now as we did in the previous questions observe method we want area of this region so it can be calculated by area of region covered by ellipse in first quadrant minus area of triangle so that will be our method area covered by ellipse in first quadrant minus area of this triangle so let me put here point a here i am putting a p this point is suppose b so in this calculation when we find area of this region a p b o a this will be boundary line x axis and calculating area of triangle again this will be boundary line it's a part of x axis so in both the calculation we are taking x axis as boundary line so we shall use dx formula and when we use dx formula we require value of y from both equations so getting value of y from equations x square upon 9 plus y square upon 4 is 1 implies y square by 4 equal to 1 minus x square by 9 so y square is 4 by 9 into 9 minus x square so y is equal to plus or minus 2 by 3 square root of 9 minus x square but because required area it is in first quadrant in first quadrant every point on this curve which is a boundary boundary line has 
y coordinate positive everywhere y coordinate is positive so we consider here plus sign because y is positive in first quadrant so this will be used in calculating first area now we take equation of line equation of line is x by 3 plus y by 2 equal to 1 from this equation y by 2 is 1 minus x by 3 so y is equal to 2 by 3 into 3 minus x so this is value of y from this equation this is value of y from equation of ellipse here it is clear in diagram that they are intersecting in x equal to 3 and x equal to 0 here x is 0 this line is x equal to 0 and this line is x equal to 3 so regions are between x equal to 0 and x equal to 3 you can imagine here line x equal to 3 this line is x equal to 3 vertical line so region is between x equal to 0 x equal to 3 x axis and this ellipse that is first region second region between two vertical lines x axis and this line that is second region which we, we, we will subtract so here area area of required region required region is a p b a a p b a it is required region area of required region a p b a it is equal to area of region a p b o a a p b o a that is area by ellipse in first quadrant only minus area of triangle AOB area of triangle AOB so it is equal to now area by this ellipse between 0 to 3 with x axis that is 0 to 3 value of y from ellipse from ellipse value of y is 2 by 3 square root of 9 minus x square dx so it gives area in first quadrant area under ellipse minus area by this triangle it is between 0 to 3 0 to 3 because x axis is boundary line put dx and when we keep here dx we put here value of y and here already calculated y y from line 2 by 3 times 3 minus x so that is equal to put 3 by d outside now integral of root 9 minus x square that is x by 2 root 9 minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x upon a 0 to 3 minus here 2 by 3 we are putting outside integral of 3 is 3x minus integral of x is x square by 2 0 to 3 so it is equal to 2 by 3 now 
putting upper limit putting here 3 3 so this will be 0 plus 9 by 2 sine inverse putting here 3 3 by 3 is 1 so upper limit is taken minus now putting lower limit putting here 0 so this will be 0 plus 9 by 2 sine inverse 0 sine inverse 0 is 0 minus 2 by 3 into 3 into 3 9 minus 9 by 2 and minus 0 so this is 2 by 3 into 9 by 2 into sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 minus minus 2 by 3 into 9 minus 9 by 2 is 9 by 2 so this will be this 2 2 will be cancelled 3 into 3 9 so it will be 3 pi by 2 so it is equal to this is equal to 3 pi by 2 minus here this 2 will be cancelled 3 into 3 9 so minus 3 so taking LCM 3 3 minus 6 upon 2 taking 3 common pi minus 2 by 2 so this is required area now next question using a method of integration find area bounded by the curve modulus x plus modulus y equal to 1 so here modulus x plus modulus y is 1 say so in this equation to understand the equation it contains a union of means it contains group of equations so members of this group can be released by taking cases say so if x is positive y is positive if x is positive y is positive that will be case 1 case 2 x positive uh, we take x negative y positive in case 3 we will take x negative y negative case 4 we will take x positive y negative now see if x is positive y is positive modulus x is x y positive then modulus y is y so x plus y equal to 1 this is a line if x is negative modulus x is minus x y is positive it is plus y equal to 1 so x negative modulus x is minus x y positive modulus y is y so this is another line let me express this as y equal to 1 plus x it is equation 2 this line we express as y equal to 1 minus x it is first equation then if x is negative y is negative modulus x is minus x modulus y is minus y equal to 1 so y is equal to y is minus 1 minus x this is equation 3 y is equal to minus 1 minus x if x positive y negative if x is positive put modulus x is x y is negative modulus y is minus y equal to 1 so that means y is x minus 1 
सो दिस इक्वेशन गिवन इक्वेशन रिप्रेजेंट्स फोर डिस्टिंक्ट लाइंस नाउ वी आर शोइंग दिस लाइन दिस लाइंस इन अ डायग्राम सो हियर दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज वाई एक्सिस I put here one, this side one, here minus one, minus one. This is origin. Now see first line. First line has x intercept plus one, y intercept plus one. X plus sorry, this line has x. Uh, uh, okay, x intercept plus one, y intercept plus one. If you put x one, x one, then y is zero, and if you keep y one, then x will be zero. So it is passing from these two points. This is y equal to one minus x. Second line has x intercept minus one, y intercept one, x intercept minus one, y intercept one. so it is passing from these two points this is second line it is y equal to 1 plus x third line has x intercept minus 1 y intercept minus 1 x intercept minus 1 y intercept minus 1 so third line will be passing from these two points x minus 1 y intercept minus 1 x intercept minus 1 y intercept minus 1 you can uh, check from this equation also if you put x 0 then y is minus 1 if you put y 0 then x is minus 1 so line is passing from minus 1 0 0 minus 1 so it is y equal to minus 1 minus x fourth line it has x intercept plus 1 y intercept minus 1 so x plus 1 y minus 1 so it will be passing from these two points so its equation is y equal to x minus 1 now you can see that here slope of this line is minus 1 and the slope of third line is minus 1 first and third lines are parallel similarly second and fourth lines are parallel so we can see that here we are having pair of opposite sides parallel in this quadrilateral so it is a parallelogram this is a parallelogram or you can also check uh, at uh, diagonals Let's say here are diagonals these diagonals are bisecting each other diagonals are bisecting bisecting each other not only bisecting they are perpendicular to each other so this is a square obviously it is a square here we are getting a square or we can say rhombus so to find area of this square area of this square it it can be calculated as calculating area of this triangle in first quadrant we will make it four times four times area of triangle in first quadrant it will give total area so here here given equation represents four lines
and these four lines form a square. A square is formed. So area of square, area bounded by these lines that is area of square area of a square is four times area in first quadrant now say in first quadrant this area it is bounded by y equal to 1 minus x x equal to 0 x equal to 1 and x axis that is 4 into area of region bounded by y equal to 1 minus x x equal to 0 x equal to 1 and x axis x equal to 0 x equal to 1 and x axis so that is 4 into 0 to 1 y dx that is 4 into 0 to 1 1 minus x dx that is 4 into integral of 1 is x minus x square by 2 0 to 1 so that is 4 into 1 minus 1 by 2 so 4 into 1 by 2 so value is so area of this square is 2 find the area of the region represented by set of points x y satisfy this inequalities here we are given region in set form means this is the set of a points region contains those points x y satisfying these conditions so how to represent this region in diagram say method is here first inequality is y is more than or equal to x square y is more than or equal to x square so to draw graph of inequality first of all consider only equality so if you consider equality then it is y equal to x square so here y equal to x square it is a parabola y equal to x square it is a parabola y equal to x square means x square is 1y x square is y x square is ky so it's a parabola like this y equal to x square this is y equal to x square so it is a a graph of y equal to x square is a curve above x axis. Now we are coming on inequality. See once again to explain now graph of inequality. Once again I am taking same diagram here. Y equal to x square. Now observe this inequality. See meaning of this inequality is that take those points which satisfy this inequality if you take y equal to x square that means set of 
points which lie only on this curve set of points which lie only on this curve satisfies equation but in equation that means set of points satisfying this inequation it will be either inside parabola or outside parabola so see if you choose any point on this parabola then its x coordinate is x and y coordinate is x square this is y coordinate now we want those points whose y coordinate is more than x square so if you draw here any perpendicular line if i draw here perpendicular line then this point has y coordinate x square here y coordinate is x square and above this point all these points have y coordinate more than x square these all the points will have y coordinate more than x square because here this is x square so all these points have y coordinate more than x square so if you choose any point on this curve this po point has x coordinate x y coordinate x square so if you draw vertical line then every point above this point will have y coordinate here y coordinate will be more than y coordinate of this point that is all this y value it will be more than x square so this is true for every point so continuing this procedure for all these points we are getting region which is inside this curve interior region region so graph of y more than or equal to x square is the region represented in this diagram so all the points inside this curve will satisfy this inequation in another way a simple practical way you can also determine region by this method also say this is y equal to x square method is simple method choose any point from inside or from outside it should not lie on this curve it should not lie on this curve choose either inside or from outside suppose i am choosing this point obviously its x coordinate is 0 y coordinate i am taking 5 or 4 3 any non zero can be y coordinate it will be inside this curve now put 0 5 in this inequation y is 0 sorry y is 5 x is 0 y is 5 x is 0 so what is happened 5 more than or equal to 0 it is true that means 0 5 satisfies this inequation so it is a solution and whatever is happened for this point it will be happened for every point inside 0 5 is a solution so every point inside will be solution so take a shaded region towards 0 5 side check only for one point any particular point it may be true for every point towards that side instead of 0 5 if i take here suppose i take 5 0 then what will happen if you choose 5 0 instead of 0 5 means select exterior point it's not necessary that you should take only from x axis take from this side take from this side take from third quadrant take from second quadrant but choose 
exterior point outside then what happens putting 5 0 here see y is 0 y is 0 x is 5 25 so for 5 0 result is 0 more than or equal to 25 this is false so 5 0 is not a solution so don't take a shaded region towards 5 0 take opposite side so if you choose any point from outside every time for every point in equation will not be satisfied so no any point from outside is a solution that means solution set is opposite side inside so here graph of y more than or equal to x square is interior region so keep this in your mind i am showing there here symbol the symbol means graph of y more than or equal to x square is inside shaded region now we are coming on second inequality this is y more than or equal to x square now y less than or equal to modulus x so first of all to draw graph of y less than or equal to modulus x take graph of equality y equal to modulus x it is a union of two rays it is like this dividing quadrant into equal parts 45 degree 45 degree similarly on this side this is symmetric about y axis so this is y equal to modulus x this is origin so what i have done x axis y axis this is graph of y equal to modulus x now we are coming on y less than or equal to modulus x so method is if you choose any point then its x coordinate is x and its y coordinate is modulus x now if you draw any vertical line from this point then every point below this point choose these points all the points below this point will have y coordinate see y coordinate of all these points will be less than modulus x choose another point take vertical line so whatever will be its y coordinate here if x coordinate is x so y coordinate is modulus x y is modulus x so below this point if you choose any point every point below this point will have y coordinate less than modulus x so continuing this procedure we are getting points below this graph this is the graph of y less than or equal to modulus x or another way is second method to determine shaded region choose any point which does not lie on this line suppose i am taking this point suppose this point is choose randomly choose any point minus 2 0 put minus 2 0 here y 0 x is minus 2 so it is true so this is a solution so include in shaded region so draw shaded region towards this point 
if point doesn't satisfy draw shaded region opposite side so this is graph of y more than or equal to x square this is graph of y less than or equal to modulus x i have shown individual graph but we need set of points satisfying both inequalities say word is and we want all the points satisfying both inequality that means we want all the points which are in common now imagine intersection of these two if we overlap these diagrams now i am overlapping in first diagram shaded region was above y equal to x square in second diagram shaded region is below y equal to modulus x so we are getting intersection in this part this is the required region this region is given in this set so we want area of this region and this is a symmetric about y axis so what we will do we will find area only in first quadrant and we will make it double so let me take this point p here i am taking a point q take perpendicular put of perpendicular is m so now our method will be area below line segment op means area of this triangle minus area below this parabola that will be area in first quadrant and here we are taking help of x axis x axis will be boundary line so using the dx formula but we want point of intersection so to get point of intersection we have to solve these equations so for point of intersection for point of intersection in first quadrant we are solving y equal to x square and y equal to modulus x so solving this equation x square is modulus x but in first quadrant x is positive so modulus x is x in first quadrant x is positive so that is x square minus x is 0 so x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 so curves are intersecting at x equal to 0 so look, look this point at origin x here x equal to 0 here x equal to 1 so this point is corresponding to 1 this point is corresponding to 0 so this line is x equal to 0 this line is x equal to 1 this is x equal to 1 so region is between x equal to 0 x equal to 1 therefore curves intersect in x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 so required area therefore required area it is two times area in first quadrant so area required area of a given region equal to two times area of region which region o p q o o p q o this point is q 
that is 2 into now this area is equal to area of triangle OBM minus area of this region so that is area of triangle OPM minus area of region say below parabola O Q P come down M O O Q P M O so area of triangle a minus area of this region so in both cases x axis is boundary line so we are using a dx formula so that is 2 into integral of say between 0 to 1 0 to 1 this is by triangle so value of y is modulus x so here y dx minus here between 0 to 1 x axis is boundary so dx and value of y that is y from equation of parabola so x square so that is 2 into now say in this interval x is positive so modulus x is x so 2 into here x square by 2 integral of x is x square by 2 0 to 1 minus here x cube by 3 0 to 1 so 2 into this will be 1 by 2 minus 0 that is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so that is 2 into 3 minus 2 1 by 6 so value is 1 by 3 it is required area find area of region represented by set of all the points x y satisfying this both inequalities as discussed in last question we perform similar method to draw graph of inequality or a region represented by inequality first of all we have to draw graph of equation so here considering equation y square equal to 4x it is a parabola this is a parabola and from second inequality 4x square plus 4y square equal to 9 x square plus y square equal to 9 by 4 it is a circle centered at origin and its radius is 3 by 2 so this both curves are required in diagram so here I am taking curve so First, I am drawing a circle. X is X axis. Here, Y axis. Origin. Radius is 3 by 2. So, this number will be 3 by 2. This side minus 3 by 2. Parabola Y square equal to 4X. So this will be parabola y square equal to 4x. <coughs> we will require point of intersections. Let me solve for x coordinate. So to solve for point of intersection for x value solving y square equal to 4x and x square plus y square equal to 9 by 4 I am putting here 4x x square plus 4x is 9 by 4 that is 4x square plus 16x minus 9 is 0 
that is 4x square plus 18x minus 2x minus 9 is 0. 4 into minus 9 minus 36 and 18 into minus 2 is minus 36. So here 2x common, 2x plus 9 minus 1 common, 2x plus 9 is 0. So 2x minus 1, 2x plus 9 is 0. So x is 1 by 2 or x is minus 9 by 2. But x minus 9 by 2 is not possible because you can see that they are intersecting in first quadrant. In first quadrant x negative is not possible. You can also confirm from this equation. If you put x equal to minus 9 by 2 here then y square will be negative. So that's why this is not possible. It is not possible. x equal to minus 9 by 2 is not possible. Otherwise y square will be negative. Otherwise y square will be negative. Which is not possible. So x equal to 1 by 2. Therefore both curves intersect in x equal to 1 by 2. So this point has x coordinate 1 by 2 as well as this point has also x coordinate 1 by 2. So here I put 1 by 2. Now we are coming on region. Here words are not that, that bounded by parabola and circle, these words are not given. We are only given that find area of a region, region represented by set, set of points x, y, satisfying these equations. So now we are coming on in equation. See, first of all I am discussing y square less than or equal to 4x. So see, this is y square equal to 4x. Now coming on in equation, we want graph of y square less than or equal to 4x. So choose a point, choose a point which does not lie on this curve. Suppose I am choosing this point 3, 0. Put 3, 0 in this in equation. If you put 3, 0, y is 0, x is 3, 4 into 3, 12. So what is it? It is true. So 3, 0 is a solution. So inside this curve, this is the graph of y square less than or equal to 4x. Select a point which does not lie on that line. Put in given inequality. If inequality is satisfied, it is a solution. So take shaded region towards that point side. If inequation is not satisfied, then don't take shaded region on that point side, take opposite side. This is the simple trick to check shaded region. So graph of y square less than or equal to 4x is now you can see in this diagram. Now next is we are coming on graph of x square plus y square less than or equal to 9. x square plus y square less than or equal to 9 by 4. So already we have taken circle. Circle is x square plus y square. This is x square plus y square is 9 by 4. Already drawn here. Now select any point which does not lie on this line. So best point is origin. 
origin origin does not lie on this line you can select any point any interior point any exterior point but the easiest is 0 0 so put here 0 0 0 plus 0 less than or equal to 9 by 4 so this is true 0 0 satisfies so 0 0 is a solution so draw shaded region inside so this region is region of this inequation so here in this diagram you can see graph of x square plus y square less than or equal to 9 by 4 graph of y square less than or equal to 4x now we want points satisfying both inequations that means points which are in common so observe now common part overlap both diagrams if you overlap both diagrams then this part is common we want area of this region this is intersection of both so in this question this area is represented in set form we want area of this region so now we divide this in parts so let me put this point p whose x coordinate is 1 by 2 this parabola is symmetric about x axis circle is also symmetric about x axis so what we will do we will find area in first quadrant then we will make its double area in first quadrant then its double will be total required area now area in first quadrant again we are dividing in two parts area below this parabola this is x axis a boundary line so area bounded by parabola x axis x equal to 0 x equal to 1 by 2 plus area bounded by circle x axis x equal to 1 by 2 x equal to 3 by 2 so these are the steps and in calculation we will require values of y from both the equations so first of all i am getting values of y so from y square equal to 4x y is 2 root x in first quadrant in first quadrant y is positive and from this equation x square plus y square equal to 9 by 4 y is square root of 9 by 4 minus x square this is also in first quadrant in first quadrant y is a positive so we take a positive square root we are going to discuss about region in first quadrant in first quadrant every point on this curve as well as every point on second curve has y coordinate positive positive so we consider positive value so next step is required area required area is represented by shaded region required region given region we should say given region 
is represented by a shaded region in diagram. So area of required region, area of required area of given region. So required area of given region it is equal to two times area of region in first quadrant that is two times sum of these two areas I keep here point M I put here point A, here point B. So we can express it like uh, it as area of region O A P M O plus. See, I wrote this region O A P M O plus area of region p b let me say here point n p b n m p p b n m p that is 2 into this area is between 0 and half 0 to half y dx what is y from this curve 2 root x dx plus again uh, then uh, come in the next part this is from 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 1 by 2 to 3 by 2 between x equal to 1 by 2 to 1 by 3 by 2 bounded by x axis so put here dx here we keep dx so put value of y y that is from this curve this is circle so from circle y is root 9 by 4 minus x square so that is equal to 2 into now here 2 into integral of root x is x raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 0 to half plus its integral is x by 2 root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x upon a 3 by 2 lower limit 1 by 2 upper limit 3 by 2 and close big bracket outer bracket here two times so that is two times two this two is here as it is two into two four by three into putting here one by two so one by two raised to three by two putting zero it will be zero so no need to put zero plus now putting here 3 by 2 this will be 0 so this part is 0 plus 9 by 8 sine inverse put here 3 by 2 so it will be 1 sine inverse 1 so upper value is taken minus now lower value lower value putting here 1 by 2 so 1 by 4 1 by 2 by 2 is 1 by 4 into square root of 9 by 4 minus 1 by 4 putting here 1 by 2 9 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is 8 by 4 8 by 4 is 2 so root 2 plus 9 by 8 sine inverse 1 by 3 put here 1 by 2 so 2 2 will be cancelled so 1 by 3 is left so this is 
अपर वैल्यू माइनस लोअर वैल्यू क्लोज मेन ब्रैकेट सो इट इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू फोर बाय थ्री इन टू वन बाय टू से हियर फोर बाय थ्री फोर कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एस टू स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर इन टू अपॉन थ्री इन टू टू रेस टू थ्री बाय टू प्लस नाइन बाय एट इंटू पाई बाय टू माइनस रूट टू अपॉन फोर माइनस नाइन बाय एट साइन इनवर्स वन बाय थ्री सो से इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू स्क्वायर इज फोर अपॉन थ्री टू रेस टू थ्री बाय टू दैट इज टू रूट टू टू रेस टू थ्री बाय टू दैट इज टू रूट टू टू क्यूब इज एट दिस इज थ्री बाय टू टू क्यूब इज एट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एट इज टू रूट टू सो इन टू टू रूट टू प्लस नाइन पाई अपॉन सिक्सटीन माइनस रूट टू बाय फोर माइनस नाइन बाय एट साइन इन वर्स वन बाय थ्री इक्वल टू सो नाउ हियर टू इंटू टू फोर सो दिस विल बी टू इंटू टू फोर बाय थ्री रूट टू प्लस टू इंटू नाइन बाई नाइन पाई बाई सिक्सटीन इज नाइन पाई बाई एट माइनस टू रूट टू बाई फोर दैट इज रूट टू बाय टू टू इंटू रूट टू बाई फोर इज रूट टू बाय टू माइनस नाइन बाय फोर साइन इन वर्स वन बाय थ्री टू इज मल्टीप्लाइड नाउ हियर दिस इज फोर बाय थ्री रूट टू माइनस रूट टू बाय टू प्लस नाइन पाई बाय एट माइनस नाइन बाय फोर साइन इनवर्स वन बाय थ्री दैट इज से फ्रॉम दिस टू नंबर्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक नाइन बाय फोर कॉमन हियर एल सी एम इज थ्री इंटू टू सिक्स रूट टू एल सी एम इज सिक्स रूट टू सो दिस विल बी एट माइनस here this will be multiplied by 3 root 2 so 3 into or uh, you can uh, simplify this as numerator denominator multiply by root 2 so 4 root 2 upon 6 minus root 2 upon 2 root 2 upon 2 is 3 root 2 by 6 plus 9 by 4 common So pi by two minus sine inverse one by three. Four root two minus three root two is root two by six plus nine by four. This is cos inverse one by three. So this is required area.